In this lesson, we're going to talk about inscribed polygons and circumscribed polygons. So here we have a polygon that is inscribed in a circle. So what does it mean that a polygon is inscribed in a circle? For one thing, you could think of it as being inside of the circle. But technically, a polygon is inscribed in a circle if all of its vertices are on the circle. And we can see that's the case. Each vertex of the quadrilateral is on the circle. So we could say that quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in a circle. And let's say E is the center of the circle. So we could say that circle E is circumscribed about ABCD because that circle lies on the outside of the quadrilateral. Now, since E is the center of the circle, E is also the circumcenter of the polygon. Now, something else you need to know about a quadrilateral that is inscribed in a circle. You need to know that the opposite angles are supplementary. So let's say if angle A is 70 degrees and angle C is 105, what is the value of angle B and angle C? Let's say D is 105. Well, C is opposite to A, so those two are supplementary. So angle A plus angle C have to add up to 180. So angle C is going to be 180 minus 70, so this is going to be 110. Now angle D and angle B must also add to 180. So angle B is going to be 180 minus 105, which is 75. And as we know, the four angles of a quadrilateral must add to 360. So 70 plus 75 plus 105 plus 110 is 360. Now let's consider another example. So once again, we have quadrilateral ABCD and it's inscribed of a circle. Now, in this problem, we're given the following information. Arc BC is equal to 80 degrees and arc DC is equal to 110 and angle D is equal to 65 degrees. So with this information, calculate the value of the angle measure of arc C, I mean angle C, and uh, the measure of arc AB and also the measure of arc AD. So feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So arc BC is 80 degrees, and arc DC, that's uh, 110 degrees. Angle D is 65. Now we know that opposite angles are supplementary. So opposite to D, we have angle B. So angle B is going to be 180 minus 65. So angle B is 115. Now what about angle A? Notice that angle A is the inscribed angle and it has an intercepted arc of arc BD. So what's the relationship between an inscribed angle and the intercepted arc? The inscribed angle is one half of the intercepted arc. So it's one half of the measure of arc BD. And arc BD is the sum of arc BC and CD. So now angle A is going to be one half of arc BC, which is 80, plus arc CD, which is 110. So 80 plus 110 is 190, and half of 190 is 95. So that's the measure of angle A, it's 95. And angle C is opposite to angle A, 
So angle C is 180 minus 95, which means that it's 85 degrees. So now we have the values of all four angles of the quadrilateral. Now, let's focus on angle D. So the intercepted arc for angle D is arc AC. So therefore, we can write an equation. The measure of angle D has to be 1 half of the measure of the intercepted arc, AC. And arc AC is the sum of AB and BC. So we're going to have 1 half the arc measure of AB plus the arc measure of BC. Now we know the measure of angle D that was given to us. So that's uh, 65 degrees. We need to calculate arc AB. So let's call arc AB X. Arc BC has an angle measure of 80 degrees. So now let's multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the fraction. Half times 2 is 1. And 2 times 65 is 130. So now we just need to subtract both sides by 80. And so this will give us the value of x. 130 minus 80 is 50. So arc AB is 50 degrees. And we see that angle C is 85. Now the last thing we need to do is calculate the arc measure of AD. And this will be straightforward. All the arcs that form a complete circle must add up to 360. So therefore, arc AD is going to be 360 minus 50 minus 80 minus 110. 360 minus 50 is 310. 310 minus 110 is 200. And 200 minus 80 is 120. So AD is 120. And we could confirm this answer. If we focus on angle C, it's 85. And so the intercepted arc of that is arc DB, which is 170. 170 divided by 2 is 85. So we know this answer is correct. And so that's it for this problem. So now you know how to calculate the angles of a quadrilateral that's inscribed in a circle, and you also know how to calculate the corresponding arc measures as well. In this example, we have a polygon circumscribed about a circle, and the center of the circle is point E. A polygon is circumscribed about a circle if all of its sides are tangent to the circle. So notice that at point E, I mean point F rather, AB is tangent to the circle. BC is tangent to the circle at point G. And DC is tangent to the circle at point H. And AD is tangent to it at point I. Now E is the center of the circle. It's also the in center of the polygon. Now, if we could say that polygon ABCD is circumscribed about circle E, we could also say that circle E is inscribed in polygon ABCD. The circle is inscribed because it's inside of the polygon. The polygon is circumscribed about the circle because it's outside of the circle. Now let's say that AB is 14 and DC is 18. And let's say the radius of the circle is 6. With this information, calculate the perimeter of quadrilateral ABCD. So feel free to pause the video. So if the radius is 6, EF is the same as EH. So EH is also 6, which means that AD has to be 12. Now, anytime you have a tangent segment that extends from a common endpoint, those two tangent segments are congruent based on the two tangent theorem. So AF is congruent to AI. And BF and BG are the same. HC is equal to GC. And DI 
is equal to dh. So let's call af x. So if af is x, ai has to be x. Now we can calculate fb. It's going to be the total length of the segment minus the other side. So this is going to be 14 minus x. If this is 12 and that's x, the other side, or the remaining side, is uh, 12 minus x. And since these two are the same, this also has to be 12 minus x. Now this side is going to be the total length minus the other side. So that's going to be 18 minus 12 minus x, which means this has to be the same thing, 18 minus 12 minus x. And these two have to be the same. So that's 14 minus x. So now, to calculate the missing side BC, all we need to do is add these two. Segment BC is the sum of segment BG and GC. Now, BG is 14 minus x. And GC is 18 minus 12 minus x. So we can combine 14 and 18. If you add those two, that's 32. And then here, we need to distribute the negative sign. So it's going to be negative 12 plus x. Negative x plus x adds up to 0. And so we have 32 minus 12, which is 20. So BC is 20. Now we have all four sides, 14, 12, 18, and 20. So the perimeter is the sum of these four sides. So it's 12 plus 18 plus 20 plus 14. 12 plus 18 is 30. 30 plus 20 is 50. And 50 plus 14 is 64. So 64 is the answer. So that's how you can solve this walk around problem if you have a quadrilateral circumscribed about a circle. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.